What's going on, dude? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's up guys? So here we are, we are, well, I'm going to take out the right side ferry to get started because hopefully next week, well hopefully sometime this week, parts will show up, then I can start working on the clutch stuff, and then we can work on everything else because I got more parts coming in. I got, so right now I'm just currently waiting on the steel OEM steel friction plates and the EvoTech radiator guard. So get this bike up and running as soon as possible and then we're gonna after we get all the clutch stuff done and the radiator guard done we're gonna, we're gonna get the exhaust all settled and fixed ready to go then we'll tear out the ECU install the DNA air filter that my late friend has passed on to me and then get a flash then we should be good to go so let's get all started on this so good even after, even after all the cold so, take the mirror take the seat in case you guys haven't seen this is how thick the uh, my custom seat is and then see that Louis Moto made it more Louis Moto this is their custom seat that they sent to me forgive me I don't, I don't have much space to work around here so, so you're gonna need a number 4T handle this is bothering me get even glad it's not raining but we are in the rain season of Washington just a long thread it's so long it's not loose plastic washer on there I think you are now able to take this off Plastic washer again. Just gonna get that bolt off. It's definitely not a twelve millimeter. <laughs>
take this off. There we go, just like that we got the uh, right side fairing off. Uh, not too bad except for like, it's a little dent right here. <laughs> that was from the frame slider. I wonder if I could fix that. I wonder if I could just use a heat gun from the other side and just pop it out. But now I'm like looking at this, I'm just like, I think I should get the TL TST LED lights and whatnot. <laughs> so yeah, right side's off. Um, that was pretty easy. Uh, didn't take very long. It took like maybe less than five minutes. If you knew what you were looking, look up instructions. Um, there are other plenty of videos of people tearing off the fairings. The best one I could give advice on, uh, best one I could recommend is the STG uh, Ninja 400 Project Bike. They do have a very comprehensive video on how to take off all the fairings and whatnot. And I wish I had a light so you could see my face, but you don't want to see my face. But yeah. Bearing removal is done. Well, let's take a look on the inside. So this is pretty much what she looks like with the right side firing off. It's almost like a Z400. Oh no, my important sticker, protecting sticker is flying away. Uh, coolant's getting on the low side, so we'll probably drain that and uh, put some engine ice. I heard engine ice is really good coolant. Um, definitely need to clean that up no holes not that I see let's but you can see where <laughs> the tire kicks up on the radiator but yeah I'm just waiting for that Evotech radiator guard to come around uh, but now we got oh, I have no space here I got this boat trailer then there but now we got full access to the bolts and I'll be able to take this off. Now I'm like, maybe I should get the GB Racing covers next. Because <laughs> this really worried me. Because I think that's a scratch from it. Yeah. And you can see, there's it's, it's indented. It is not very strong in a crash. But yeah, we'll be able to take this off. This is my Norton Racing uh, cable clutch kit, which helps with the clutch feel. So it's not so light and there's actually pressure. And what this does is that it possibly engages and disengages the clutch completely. Because without this, you're actually running those friction plates because the clutch is not engaging and disengaging properly. And that's and Norton, Norton Motorsports will explain that on their website too. And for nine bucks, totally worth it. Really easy to install too. But yeah, man, I just want to clean her up. Made in Thailand. Yeah, we're gonna have to refill this. I mean, it's been like two years, <laughs> but we're gonna, later on, we're gonna have to take off the fuel tank and get to the ECU, which is right here. You can see it, it's right there. There's the ECU, the throttle bodies. Uh, here's the air filter box. We're gonna do a modification for that, and you can see the little snorkel. 
uh, velocity stack is going to be inside there but I'm going to modify that air box and because the biggest choke on this bike is believe it or not the airflow oh, man she's filthy but yeah guys that's it that's it for for fairing removals not really that hard now I got now I can when I get my I get my uh, headers and whatnot, it'll be so much easier to just get through here now. Now that the right side is taken out, but fairings are right there. The not fairings, the headers right here, right behind the right behind the fucking radiator. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I wasn't expecting that to be honest, because shit. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. I'll figure it out. Yeah, that's it. There's, uh, these are the parts that's gonna come around, come out. You got your right side fairing. You got your right side belly, uh, be belly pan. Right side uh, plastic piece. But yeah, man, that's it. So, now that I got it all prepped up for parts when they come in, we should be good to go on working on this bike. One step closer. Yeah, that's that's all I can do right now is just take off the right side fairing while I'm waiting for parts to come in. But it's really interesting to see like the inside of your own bike. I don't know, it's just really interesting to actually see the, the engine there. It's just fascinating to me to see that. And it's just a little tiny engine. Now I can get, get to working on it probably replace those uh I'll probably take off the other side too it's going to be the same thing as mirrored the hardest part i think is just going to be taking off the fuel tank i don't know if because when i took off the fuel tank off the uh, cbr 600 f4i a lot of fuel dumped out but i heard there's a valve on these bikes that will cut off the fuel to prevent any sp a lot of spillage which would be handy and i wish the F4i had that, but it's an old bike from 2001, and this is a 2021. The, the difference in years of these bikes and the difference of performance, too. That 600 F4i is so amazing. It, compared to the 600 double R, it has a lot of mid range because it was meant to be a daily, all around bike. It wasn't like a super specialized 600 double R. 600 double R where it's just a race bike with lights kind of like Dan's ZX6R that's a race bike with lights and I mean it's dailyable but it's not comfortable the 600 F4i super comfortable and I can't wait to get that up and running and if you want somewhat of a spiritual feeling of its successor the Honda CBR650R falls in the same mindset of the 600 F4i. It just doesn't make as much power. I think it maxes out at 98 horsepower just to keep it under 100 horsepower for insurance purposes, while the F4i is at like 110 horsepower, which probably translates to about 97 to the wheel. All I got, we're slowly making progress. Uh, just keep in mind, I am broke. I am doing this on a budget as best as I can. I am not, not made out of money. I work a regular job. I work as many hours as I can to hopefully get both of my bikes up and running for the next season. I am I am not rich. I have no intentions of being rich. Just want to be well off and be able to be well paid for what I do. And unfortunately the world has not follow up on minimum rate minimum rage. Minimum wage when it comes to the world. So rents up wages are still the same gas prices are going back up shit gas prices went up when it was snowing i'm like what the fuck that makes no goddamn sense <laughs> it is raining now so it's that is my cue to cover up the bike and time to go all right guys uh stay tuned for the next video hopefully we get the parts that i'm waiting for and we'll get back to it because I really want to change out that oil, swap out the battery for the anti-gravity uh, battery because that thing is light. That thing is like four pounds. And I'm not going to not gonna replace this anytime soon because it's still good. Even though I want the lighter, clear, or light smoke, uh, we are definitely going to swap out the 
cliff ons I think that's gonna be the next big purchase from Woodcraft and then probably change out the uh, throttle I do have an R6 throttle tube in here it is better than this OEM factory one and yeah I got a lot of plans and very little money and I'm doing the best I can guys <laughs> anyways that's it for the video there's not much I can do so stay tuned I'll wait for the next video it might not be the next video but um, any topics down below in the comments drop a topic of like what do you want me to talk about um, why uh, about anything about the 400 or anything in writing in general I've learned a lot in the first two years from other people and if you have any questions just drop it down in the comments I, I read all your guys comments it may not seem like it but I do and I know that 98% of you are not subscribed I see that too <laughs> doesn't bother me that much I mean as long as I get subscribers and get a little bit of money after being monetized this will help out the projects and whatnot so anyway yeah next video may not be another ninja 400 video just because it just depends on when parts are gonna show up this week this is Monday as of this recording of the 25th so Mariah Carey has been sealed away until next Christmas and that's all I got so so the next video may or may not be another 400 ins install video, but it just depends on when parts are coming. It's the holidays have really put a drag on deliveries. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, me trying to it, see, see how long it took to take a fairing off. It really doesn't take that long. If you want a more comprehensive um, teardown video, just go and look up a STG Sport Bike Track Gear uh, Ninja 400 Project Bike they have shit ton of videos on the 400 anyway peace out hope you guys have, stay safe and have a good one ladies and gents